She says, <laughs> the Charleston Police Department has Lauren's cell phone. <laughs> what? Hello. Hey Welcome back to episode two of What Are We Doing? Episode dos. It's Super me, Lauren. Excited. Hello, this is me, Jamie. <laughs> We're back. Thank you to everybody who showed some love on our first episode. Uh, we had a lot of fun filming it. We've been working out the kinks to get this audio and video as yes. good as possible for yes. you guys. <laughs> um, so we're excited to kick it off with uh, episode two. And yeah. we want to take one minute and shout out two folks. We are mm -hmm. obviously here at Starlin Yard, so big shout out yes. to them as always. Our home. Our home. <laughs> home away from home. And big shout out to DJ Stilts. That's the music yes. that you just heard um, over our intro. He mm -hmm. mixed that up for us last week. Put our week. voices in there. It's yes. super cool. We are so excited about that. Literally took our vision and brought it to yes. life. Yes, so. we sound like perfectly dazed and confused at the end yes. of that audio, which is exactly what perfectly. we wanted. <laughs> yes. For those of you turning in for the first time, this yeah. is our Connect Savannah podcast. What are we doing, if you didn't know? by now. This is going to come out every Thursday. You can watch the video version on YouTube and listen to the audio version on Spotify. So mm -hmm. take your pick, whichever one you want to tune into that day. This is our second episode. Like Lauren said, we're super excited working out the kinks and whatnot. But we're going to start out the episode by talking about our weekend. So mm -hmm. apparently Lauren has a super funny story that she would not tell me until we start the podcast. So I was saving this go. so that you guys can get, um, <laughs> y'all can all just react together with Jamie. So this oh, weekend, um, I think I mentioned it to y'all last week, mm -hmm. I went to Charleston yes. to see Girls Gotta Eat, which is one of Ooh, our love favorite it podcasts. So much. Yes. And so we went to the live show, it was me and my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. We're at the live show, so much fun. It was like four hours long, I don't, maybe three. I don't know, it was so much fun. Long story short, we left. We've been, you know, steady drinking wine for four hours. And so yes. we leave okay. and we're like, we should call the Uber. And then we're like, nah, let's just go out like to one more place. Yeah. Okay, there's this club called Republic in Charleston. And I only know of it because one of the Southern Charm cast members owns it. Okay, cool. So I'm walking past and I'm like, Carrie Martin, like, we have to go into this club. This is from Bravo. And so we go to the club. Oh, God. Long story short, Scary. fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. I wake up at five in the morning and it's Cameron saying, Lauren, your mom has called me 10 times. <gasps> and I'm like, what? And so we're in our hotel and we're looking at his phone. She has called my mom 10 times. My sister's called Cameron. My father's called Cameron. My mom Whoa, has texted what? him. She has like 10 texts from my mom. She says, <laughs> the Charleston Police Department has Lauren's cell phone. <laughs> what? So I'm in like the <laughs> biggest panic. Like it was that moment. It was like as if we had like slept in like past yeah. checkout, like that level of pit in like my stomach. Like missed your flight, something insane oh like that. Yeah. I wake up and I'm like, what? At 530 in the morning. And I look over at my nightstand. I didn't even realize that I didn't even have my phone. I just came home. I'm big snacking in the bed and I just go straight <laughs> to sleep. Big snacking. And I like, I was like, when did I even lose it? I didn't lose it at the club. Like I was texting people and stuff. I'm like, when did I even lose it? I left it in the Uber. <gasps> Yes, oh. and so my Uber driver tried to drop it off at the hotel and the hotel desk would not take it. So this clutch Uber what? driver, she went all the way back to the club where she picked us up, asked the bouncer if she knew who I was and the bouncer somehow remembered us and because she had scanned our IDs, slid into Cameron's DMs on Instagram, no. this cop, no. yeah. And the cop is oh, like, the cop. the cop, oh yeah, 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 the cop DMed Cameron. We didn't even see oh, that. Oh, I thought it was the bouncer, the cop. The police officer, yeah, wow. who scanned our ID before we got to the bouncer. And so she slid into Cameron's DMs and is like, hey Cameron, um, I scanned your ID tonight at Republic. I've got Lauren's phone from her Uber driver. Oh, no. And so I'm like, how did my mom get involved in this? She's my emergency contact, her and my dad. Oh, okay. So I call my mom and I'm like, mom, calm down. Like trying to just like diffuse the situation. This is like once we re-wake up at like eight in the morning. Yep. My mom is like, tell me to calm down. She's like, Lauren Wolverton, a police officer called your father's cell phone at two in the morning. We thought you were dead. I was like, oh, oh. Oh my. <laughs> and so then I'm like, well, better Lauren. that they have my phone than me. Like, <laughs> oh my God. So I mean, that would happen to you, honestly. Do you have any recollection of leaving it? Maybe it just no, like I mean, fell out of your pocket. That's or the thing. Like Whenever that. I like ride in the car, I set my phone in my lap, and so mm -hmm. I just—I mean, it must have just slipped. I don't know, and I just assumed it was in my purse. That must I, happen all of the time, though. Like I know some of you watching or listening right now. I've, I've definitely done, this done that before. 
<laughs> I've done this, this before. This is not the first time. <laughs> this is not the first time. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever done that. I don't know. I'm so psycho about, about my phone that I'm like checking every two seconds, but you know. I'm really nonchalant. I mean, right now my phone is just laying over there on the picnic table. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I've done it before. I left in an Uber here um, on the way to an event. So it oh, wasn't okay. at the end of the night after I'd been drinking. I was on the way yeah. to a party and I left my camera and my phone in the Uber. She called me five minutes later and was like, girlfriend, it's like 7 p.m. Are you, you just okay? left your phone in the car. I was Are like, you okay? Yeah, so I don't even think it's a drinking thing with me. I think I just leave my phone around, but yeah, um, so that was fun. And so we spent all of Saturday morning. We didn't like get out and about in Charleston until like 1 p.m. Oh because we spent all day trying to find Team 9 office in Charleston. Like they're broken down into teams. And so we went to the regular police. We went to the one that has like the holding cell for like drunk people. We went to all the stuff, like redirected on redirected. No. And finally this sweet cop saw us wandering around was like, what are you looking for? I was like, Team 9. And she opened the door. <laughs> my phone, and my please. phone was, and my phone was right there. Oh my gosh. Yep. I had about 30 missed calls from my father. Oh no. <laughs> Honestly, think about that though. If you were in their shoes, we're like, no, it's totally fine. No, seriously, if that was your own kid oh and you're God. getting called by the cops, yeah. If I'm just, even terrified. if like it was my mom's phone and the police department called me and they were like, is this Lauren? We're calling about your mom. I'd be like, <gasps> no. Like, <laughs> please, no. I would be a mess. So thank God it was just my phone and it wasn't me and it all oh worked out. But, Great um, weekend. Overall, yeah. we we picked it back up from there. That that was the the thorn of the weekend, oh and everything else was a rose, I guess. Anyway, it how is was your weekend? Dull. How was your weekend? Um, I mean, not that eventful, honestly. <laughs> I mean, my boyfriend and I went to Fort Pulaski. That was pretty hey, cool. Uh, that honestly was really cool. That's yeah. been on our list of things to do. Oh. That was pretty awesome. I love history when you can see it in person. You yeah, know, because then everything you align the dots and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Like some of the questions that I felt like I was asking him were really stupid and I knew they were stupid. I prefaced every question with, listen, I know this is dumb. And then asked and it was good, but he was a trooper, it was good. Aww. And then we went and saw Jungle Cruise Ooh, was at that night. Good? It was actually really good. I'm a huge Disney fan yes. for those of you that don't know. Mm -hmm. You already know this. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely loved it. Have you been to a movie theater where they have the reclining chairs yes. and the cushions? I had never done that before. Are you serious? We walked in and I was like, I, I don't know, I don't know, I was so much You're like, what life have I been living yeah. here? <laughs> I mean, the chair's just like reclining, mm -hmm. there's pillows. I was just like, mm -hmm. wow. You going cooler? Really like, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that theater is nice. I know. It was insane. It's amazing, there's like six cup holders. Yeah. Awesome. It was, it was wild, but yeah, that was my weekend. That I mean, sounds like a good weekend, that's what I need. I'm due for a chill weekend after that fiasco. Yeah, it was really chill. <laughs> but, so, that's a little insight into our weekend now. Let's jump into some of the top stories in Connect Savannah this week. Yes. So for those of you, again, that don't know, we have had a dating series going on for what, the past month, month and a half maybe? I feel like it's been almost two months. Yeah. We're on part six, so at least six weeks. Yeah, and this is the last part, correct? Yes. So Lauren will tell you more about it because she has actually been the one writing all the stories and following our two singles along. So mm -hmm. take it away. Let people know what's been happening. Bachelor producer checking in. Casually. <laughs> yeah, so um, we've been doing this anonymous dating series for, like I said, six weeks. I'll wrap it up um, as short as possible. We had a matchmaker and we have two singles and we every single week have been giving you an update. She's been headhunting mm -hmm. and doing interviews with um, each person and then interviewing these other singles to see if they're a potential match. It's yeah. been a whole process. And so um, Juan, one of our singles, he has already gone on his date. Mm -hmm. And so if you pick up a copy of Connect, you'll get the final little piece of advice from him. But the big update this week has been from Reagan, who is our other single. And so she met her date, Thomas. These are fake names, by the way. Don't try to yeah. find these people. No. They're, they're fake Don't names. go Facebook stalking like yeah. we do about it. Some everything. random Thomas. That's not his real name, <laughs> folks. Um, but so they had their first date, and the matchmaker set them up on a scavenger hunt, which Ooh. I think is cute. That yeah. is so cute. Yeah, and so they um, met in front of City Hall, and so the plan was to do the scavenger hunt, and like along the way they were going to um, – find things and ask questions about each other. It was like all laid out for them and you know, get to know each other. Well, I did my post date interview with Reagan and they basically scrapped the whole scavenger hunt on oh, this date. We said no. Yeah, <laughs> um, I guess old Thomas just decided he wanted to talk instead. All right. Which I get that. I'm we a chatterbox, so that's good. We love that's to good. talk. Love to talk, yeah. love to talk. 
So they decided to just talk. Um, Reagan said it was all right, but she seemed pretty indifferent whenever I talked to her. You know, she didn't seem disappointed, but she made it clear that there wasn't much of a romantic connection, okay. which was interesting. And she said, you know, on paper, like they seem like a great match, so she sees why the matchmaker like hooked them up, yeah. which is interesting, but that just goes to show there's not always that spark, you know? No, for sure, and I think, I don't know, like it may have been disappointing for a second that they didn't have that love mm -hmm. connection, but at the same time, at least she's got a friend, she knows a new person in Savannah, and dating's all trial and error, that's how, uh, that's it how I so look It so is, you know? yeah, and you a know? lot of times you think that you're gonna hit it off with somebody like, right. same thing, even if it's your friend, not a matchmaker, like, yeah. oh, you're gonna hit it off with my like guy friend because you both went to Penn State or something. Right, right. You don't know. No, you have no idea, people are so different. Yeah. So do you think you'll do a second round of the dating series or what? I would love to, if we've got any singles out there who are trying to date, or I think it would also be cool just to follow along. You know, if you just happen to yeah. be dating, like, I don't know, you're just dating on your own even, I would love to just hear about it. If it's something cool, yeah. we could follow along. But overall, Reagan, she said that the matchmaking experience was a good one. And she said, quote, it was a process where I learned about myself, what I want in life, what I don't want in life, what my deal breakers are. This was very much worth it for me. Hey, and that's all that matters yeah. in the end. Yeah. I feel like if anybody has a crazy dating story that they've experienced in Savannah, please write yes. to us and tell us what it is. I really want to hear, or maybe what your favorite date spots are. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. I feel like I know a lot of good date spots, but you, I don't know, you don't want to recycle them right. too much. You gotta keep it fresh. No, for sure. Yeah. Drop your date spots. I agree. Awesome. On to the next, SCAD Emmys. We already know SCAD is the bomb.com. Everything they do. Literally everything they do. So the Southeast Region Regional Emmy Chapter announced the winners of the 2021 Southeast Regional Student Production Awards. Ooh. And in all, SCAD bagged a record of 38 nominations. Once again, 38. Not I would like be 10. impressed with one. Yeah. Yep. In 12 categories and 14 students took home awards. Wow. So that's insane. Wow. Um, students won in the categories of nonfiction short form, music video, animation, special effects, and more. Neat. And in the story, uh, Connect will actually go in depth more from other winners, but one winner, student Olivia Schneider, Ooh. won in the commercial category and said, this experience has given me the confidence and motivation to continue to work and improve my skills as a filmmaker. I love that. I know. That's amazing. I mean, I feel like especially something like production and yes. movies and so any kind of time. art really, like there's only so much that you can do in the classroom before mm -hmm. you have to start making these projects. Right, right. And clearly they're doing something right if they're getting recognized. Well, exactly. I feel like they can actually put their craft, you mm -hmm. know, to the test. And the fact that they're getting yeah. an Emmy as a student, it's like, okay, you're, you're doing things right. You chose the right career path. Keep going with it. And it's your own work too. Like yeah. that is the greatest compliment I feel and greatest award oh, that you yeah. can get, especially in college. So yeah. congratulations to those 14 winners and everyone that was nominated. Seriously. Even being nominated is absolutely outstanding. So yes. Yeah. Honestly, congratulations snap, if snap, you completed a project. Yeah. Like that's more than me. <laughs> Put your heart and soul to these yeah. things. Do you procrastinate? Are you a procrastinator? It depends. Um, in my work life, I'm super organized. Yeah. Like you've seen my planner. I've got this like crazy planner and everything is color coded and I write down literally down lying. to like my lunch break. It's yes. nuts. But like <laughs> in my personal life, I feel like I'm a little bit more go with the flow, okay. you know, and I'll put off like doing the laundry. I'll put mm -hmm. that off for a week, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll, I can't tell you the last time I uh, got a car wash. Oh God. Vacuumed no. my car? No clue. No, that is on my to-do list yeah. though, for sure. So, my little Prius needs it. The only thing that I don't procrastinate on, I guess, is work and like the litter box. You can't yeah. procrastinate on that. I think that's become a huge thing of adulting. In mm -hmm. college, I definitely procrastinated for sure. I was always a good student, no worries, but still procrastinated. Now with work, it's like, no, you simply cannot because you won't get nothing done. Yeah, yeah. And your to-do list. Lauren and I both have super long to-do <laughs> lists every day. It's actually psychotic, yeah. but Anyways, on a on Friday, that, whenever you scratch that last thing off, though, like, whoosh, ooh, nothing's done, better than done, that. Done, done, done. Nothing. I know, that is, yeah. oh, I love that. Wait, I have one more question. Yeah. If you won an Emmy, where would you put it? <gasps> ooh. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'd have to go all out and make some specific cabinet, like spend <laughs> extra money to have this cabinet with this beautiful engraving or something. Yeah. I don't know, if you win an Emmy, are you kidding? I yeah. feel like you kind of have to. Spotlit, I would, I don't have like a mantle, I would build a fireplace and put it on the mantle. Oh, nice. <laughs> right, like the only thing build up there. Build a fireplace in your carriage house. <laughs> your landlord would love that. <laughs> yeah, the, the smoke could just go down, like down to the garage. Yeah, that good. would be 
That'd be good. That awesome. would work. That'd be perfect for his car. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. The Next final one. story that we have chosen out of Connect Savannah this week. A little food news. Um, this is Mi Vida is joining the Tybee Island Ooh. food scene. So I have not heard of this until I picked up Connect this week. Mm -hmm. um, Jesse Blanco of Eat It and Like It, he sat down with Frank Bucci, who is the new owner or co-owner of Mi Vida. Mm -hmm. And this is located at 14th Street and Butler Avenue. And so what it is, it is an organic clean eats cafe. And so this owner says that, you know, him and his wife moved here a couple years ago and they felt like Tybee Island was missing something that's a, you know, quick grab and go kind of healthy yeah. joint on Tybee. And, um, on their menu, they've got coffee, smoothies, bowls, sandwiches, and what he calls elevated toast. Ooh, please elaborate. You um, know? I'm <laughs> on board for this. Jesse Blanco had one that had like ham and egg and avocado, and yeah. like I think it's more than just an avocado smash with yeah. everything seasoning. Like, Little fixing. It's some elevated. Extra. Uh, yeah, so I'm some details. I'm definitely interested in any kind of toast. Yes, for sure. Um, but apparently they have these pressed juice. Oh my God, I'm choking <laughs> over how delicious this sounds, folks. <laughs> pressed juices that like fly off the shelves every morning. Wow. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I love healthy food. I love my crap food, let's be honest, but I love healthy food. And um, out on Tybee, you know, they're Seawolf. Yeah. And so I feel like they have like nice vegan vegetarian options. So like that definitely proves that there is mm -hmm. a demand. And that's something that Jesse Blanco pointed out in his article, yeah. which I think he's totally right. I feel like it's a lot of you know, obviously, as you had mentioned, clean, mm -hmm. healthy food, but it sounds really fresh. That's yes. what I'm really excited about. I mean, I've gone to eat on Tybee multiple times, but I feel like I need some new places to go to. You know, yeah. you, you get in a routine like you do in Savannah of mm -hmm. all the places that you go. So I think this will be a really awesome place and it's already open. It's been open for a month about yep. at this point. So yep. definitely check that out. I 100% we should go check it out. Yeah, I think that would Maybe be so great. Like on your way to work in the morning, grab a coffee, yeah. a juice and grab you like a sandwich to eat. Or an elevated toast. An elevated toast, yeah. I love that. I do too. Just I just even like, that wording is so cool. I, know. I love that. I know. I love it so much. Anyway. So now into the most, not the most important part, but our favorite part, our favorite. rather, of the podcast. What are we doing? What are we doing, Jamie? What are we doing? So we actually have a, a ton. So please do not tell us we didn't give you any recommendations for this weekend because this is a lot. Yeah, you <laughs> folks have plenty of options. Yes. Go have fun. <laughs> so on Thursday, we have Mexican Independence Day celebration at Savannah Tequila Company at Plant Riverside Des District. So it's right there on the water. Mm -hmm. I haven't been there yet, oh. shockingly. I know. It's another on my to-do list, but I keep getting stuck going to the same places. That's going to be super exciting. That is on Thursday night, Thirsty Thursday, Tequila Thursday, Tequila maybe. Tequila Thursday, y'all. Yeah. They've got fire queso. They've got that kind of queso that has the, oh, um, like the yum. chorizo in it and yes. stuff. Ooh. Yum. Yum. All right. Friday. Amazing. Okay, this was actually just announced this week. Um, so excited. And Market Arena, the new arena that is about to open. Mm -hmm. They have announced their first show. It's Riley Green. <laughs> Jamie is so excited. We literally talked last week about how I'm, how I'm definitely like the country music girl. Yeah. So hearing that this morning in the office, I was like, yes. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Somebody was like, who is Riley Green? We're like, he's so hot. That's literally all we said. So <laughs> that's his whole act. He's just hot. So that's really exciting, though. I think that will go over really I well. I think so, too. Yeah, and so sure. the concert is set for January 14th, but it's on our weekend to-do list because those tickets go on sale Friday morning at 10 a.m., folks. So I don't know how fast it'll sell out. I feel like pretty fast. I feel like pretty quick. So set your alarms Friday morning, y'all. you got plans. Don't procrastinate. Mm -hmm. Get away from that. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. <laughs> okay, our next thing for Friday. We have Big Bond Pizza celebrating their five-year anniversary at Yum. Service Brewing. That's super exciting. Yeah. So that will be from 5.30 to 8 o'clock. There's going to be live music from Damon and the Shit Kickers. Yeah, and um, it will also be <laughs> featuring a photography exhibition from John Villarreal. So his photography is pretty awesome. We checked it out before we came here today. Day, and the music will be awesome. So pizza, music, photography, everything, service brewing, awesome. What a dream. We love it. What a freaking <laughs> what dream. A dream. All right, uh, also happening Friday night, Rumors. This is a Fleetwood Mac tribute band. They're gonna be at District Live at 8 p.m. That's that new event venue down at Plant Riverside, so yes. check that out too. Yeah, that is literally brand new too. Yeah. Love that. Okay, next. I love this one because I'm 50% Irish. This is cool. 
Are you? Yeah, you didn't know that? No. Yeah. Uh, Irish Jamie. Yeah. My dad's 100% <laughs> Irish. So. Wow. Okay, so Savannah Irish Festival celebrates halfway to St. Patrick's Day. So this is hosted by the Savannah Irish Festival, obviously, which is a nonprofit that works to promote Irish culture and music within the Savannah community. I love that. Neat. <laughs> They're a part of the parade that we usually see every year in Savannah. I actually haven't seen it yet because I moved here in the middle of COVID. So I've seen pictures and videos. Have I haven't you? seen it either. No, really? I got here in 2019. So I literally got oh. here May 2019 and just barely missed the, the 2019 one by uh -huh. like a couple months. But yeah, I've seen the boat parade. That's it. Well, fingers crossed that we will have that this year. But you know, just in case we don't, let's go to the halfway celebration on Friday. That's going to be at Coach's Corner. Doors open at 6 and it ends at 10 p.m. You can get tickets on Eventbrite. So all you Irish people like me, let's go. Have a time, time on Friday. I will be there. I'm planning to show up and I'm ready to have a couple Guinnesses. Nice. And eat yep. some of that good old Coach's food. Yum, yum. With all some right. green, I hope. Oh, 100%. I'm wearing, <laughs> I have these like tall green sequin boots that oh, I wore on St. Patty's Day. I think I'm just gonna bust them out. Nice. Who cares? Approved. <laughs> All right, Golden Girls Gone Wild. Oh, you heard that right, yes. folks. Part two. <laughs> uh, this is the Kansas City Late Night Theater Productions. They're gonna be at the Tybee Post Theater um, Friday. And oh, they're also gonna be there Saturday and Sunday. 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. and 4 p.m., folks. This is a drag show <laughs> based off it. of Golden Girls. So Golden Girls Gone Wild. Have you been to a drag show before? Oh, I love a drag show. I love a drag mm -hmm. show. Drag brunch? One. Yes. Oh, God. Yes, I went to one in Charlotte, a yes. drag brunch. It was so, oh my gosh, it was the most entertaining yeah. thing in the world. What I loved it. What a way it. to wake up. I know. <laughs> Get your day started right. Yeah. Well, I guess you wouldn't start the day with this one. You would kind of more so end the day, but. Fair, fair. So it works either way. Now, that's enough for Friday. You have more than enough events Figure to go out, to. Figure it y'all. Let's head on to Saturday. It's a packed weekend. So mm -hmm. Oktoberfest are actually starting up. Fun fact, I've never been to one. You've been to one. I actually haven't been to Oktoberfest. You haven't? No, no, no. I thought you had. I know, I'm such a beer drinker, but I haven't been to Oktoberfest before. Oh my gosh, whoa, well, here I we know. go. I you know. got not one, but two to go to this weekend. Mm -hmm. So the first one, Southbound Brewing Company from 12 to 6. Live music from Rylanders, German style food, games, and prizes. That is one. Two, Service Brewing is also doing one. So I guess you can go to Service Brewing on Friday and Saturday. Yes. Theirs is actually from 2 to 6. Uh, the Strange Bird Food Truck, live music from City Hotel Bluegrass, and a portion of every pint sold benefits our seasonal charity Folds of Honor. Oh, I, I love, love that. that. So there's two to kick off uh, the fall season. Oktoberfest, y'all. Yeah. That is an excuse to go drink beer, eat yeah. pretzels, eat hot dogs. Hot dogs are, are German, right? Right? Not hot dogs I'm, like the <laughs> little weenie kind, th like the yeah. the big ones, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the sausage I can't think dogs. Of the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think so. No one clipped that. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Also happening Saturday, um, Selfie World Savannah. Yes. This is one of those places where it's like the booths that you can go in and mm -hmm. take. It's like a different selfie scene. Yeah. So it's like the Instagram girl's dream. Yeah. I mean, I'm paradise. Yeah. I'm planning to go. I'm going to pack a couple different outfits so I can use that content for yes. weeks. But Selfie World weeks Savannah, on their grand opening is happening Saturday and that is out in Pooler at the outlet. So check out their social media. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Next we have Ghost Coast Distillery is doing DJ Doc Ock and winging it. Winging it. Winging it. Word. Weep. All right. <laughs> From one to six. So head into the cocktail room for music and obviously there will be some wings. Clearly. So that's awesome. Wings awesome. and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Skull Creek Full Moon Party is also happening Saturday night. This is from 7 to 10 p.m. at Skull Creek Dockside Restaurant. Mm -hmm. There's going to be live music from Damon and the Shit Kickers. These folks are everywhere this I weekend. Know, they really are. I love it. And then that event, oh, I love this. It is sponsored by <laughs> Lunazul Tequila and my favorite, Screwball Whiskey. You guessed it. Cheers, folks. I knew you had to say that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> did you have Screwball this weekend? I hope. I did. You did. At the club. At, that might have at the club. contributed to and my phone mishap. Lost your phone. Good, good. We love that. So another Sunday fun day for you if you're not uh, feeling horrible from Saturday. So actually, Bucky, who is our coworker, oh. is starting to play again at Tubby's in Thunderbolt. If you've never been there, I love, love, love Tubby's so much. Mm -hmm. Whether it's downtown or the one in Thunderbolt, they're spuds. You do love Tubby's. You go I a lot do. on Sunday afternoons, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. So he is actually playing with his friend from one to four. Yes. Go see him. So go over there for sure. 
do that. Also on Sundays, as usual, every Sunday at 7 p.m., Moon River Brewing Company has trivia in their beer garden. So come on by. Uh, there's happy hour from 4 to 7, and then they've got prizes for first, second, and third place. So you don't awesome. have to win. You just got to get close. There you go. <laughs> We'll get there. We'll get yeah. there. So we're going to extend into the weekdays a little bit because mm -hmm. there are more exciting things happening. So on Tuesday, this is wild. I really want to do this. <laughs> I think it will be so insane. So beginner pole fitness at First City Fitness. Okay. Yes. Spice up, people, your fitness routine every Tuesday at 8 p.m. That sounds incredible. Like, what else are you going to do on a Tuesday? That's amazing. Nothing. And that place shares a parking lot with Chick-fil-A, so that's oh, like your whole night perfect. planned out for you folks. Perfect. A little pole fitness and a chicken sandwich. I think that's so cool. I mean, there are so many different ways to do fitness mm -hmm. activities yeah. now. Yeah. That sounds stunning. Check it out. Wednesday at Victory North POD. This is an American Christian metal band, y'all. Doors open at 6 p.m. and the show starts at 6.30. Amazing. So there's your weekend um, yes. wrap up. Go through all that, figure out, get you, you know what, get you your, your plan around and schedule out your weekend. And figure that out. Yeah. Yes. Keep your eyes open because we'll be bopping around all weekend. Yeah, very true. My yeah. parents will actually be in town this weekend, so you might see me with my parents. Oh my God, I love that. <laughs> Run up to Jamie and be like, oh my God, I'm your number one fan. Can I get your autograph? Her parents will be like, heck yeah. Yeah, sure. That's my girl. Oh my gosh. So we actually have our Starland Yard events that we want to talk about also. Definitely. If I can get over here. All right, folks, on Thursday, September 16th at Starlin Yard, music from 6.30 to 9.30, we've got John Tisbert Jazz Quartet. Fabulous. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Some music on Saturdays and Sundays per usual. There will be some food trucks here, so check those out pop-ups going on all the time. Yep, yep. And then on Monday, September 20th here at Starlin Yard, we have got an event from 6 to 9. This is called Drink and Draw, which is super cute. Cool. Um, it's sponsored by the Savannah Artist Collective and Starlandia Art Supply over across the street. And so pretty much you can bring your own art supplies or you can borrow them from the Starlandia bin. And it's going to be a freeform evening of still life sketching. And this is up right above us on this upper pavilion. Awesome. So, yeah. Starland Yard always, always has something going on. They so. do, yeah. Every and day follow the them week. on social. And again, we cannot shout them out enough yep. for letting us shoot this podcast here every single week. And yes. we just love them. We love everything they're up to. We do. Speaking of social medias, because we didn't talk about this last time, make sure you follow our podcast on Instagram at what are we doing sav, S-A-V at the end. Mm -hmm. Follow Connect Savannah at Connect Savannah on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And as we mentioned earlier about the dates or wherever you want to go on a date, your dating story, email us. And if you have an event coming up and mm -hmm. you would like us to talk about it on the podcast, it is whatarewedoingsav at gmail.com. Yeah, we're here to tell you what we're doing this weekend and what you can do, but we want to know what you are doing also. So yeah. send your events our way. We'll share them out. Amazing. Thank you guys for tuning in. Round two. Thank Super you. Super excited to have you with us and keep checking back every yeah. Thursday. Y'all have a fun weekend. Bye, y'all. Bye.